So hello everybody, we're the Dynamat. My name is Artemis. My name is Hazel. And I'm Marcus. And we're here to present to you a very, very simple concept of just a dynamite thing which might be dynamic for your supply chain. So I have with me right now a very simple device. It's, it's very simple, it's like a toy. <laughs> it's water resistant, it's very light, it lags your time and temperature and location. Now Marcus, what is the challenge in here? The challenge that Dynamat brought us was to find a way for humans to effectively use this type of device. How to track the temperature, the location, yeah, and how to use this information and how that is providing. Basically, we want to see the importance of this item in this small scale, in our consumer side, and maybe on some issues that we are facing. So let's say you have a small to medium scale enterprise. Let's say you're in a restaurant business and your refrigerator breaks down during the night. What would you do? Would you wait until the morning to get there and you find out it's broken and you have to throw away everything in the refrigerator? Or will you have this device in your refrigerator connected to an application telling you when the temperature is abnormal, which means the temperature is dropping, it alerts you, and you can immediately take precautions <laughs> to fix the problem. Uh, the thing is handy, it's portable, it's easy to use, it's a plug and play application, very easy. Can you switch? Uh, so you can also use it in the distribution system. Let's say you're a butcher and you just cut some meat and you want it to be refrigerated and, or kept at a specific temperature during the distribution. Well, you can have this in your truck, connected to it, to your app, and uh, the device is also uh, located to another system, uh, which gives you a tracking device. So you can also track where you deliver it is and where it's going. And a little example of this app that we have given an idea to is practically a portable storage. Uh, and by this you can keep track of your produce and the quantities of it. And what it's also giving you is a direct view of the storage temperature at all times. And what this makes possible is to, in case of an accident, act accordingly directly when the accident happened, because it records the temperature, and when it does so, you can act directly. And so in both cases, save your produce. Uh, and another functionality. It has a predictive oh. microbiology thing. Yeah, <laughs> before. It also gives you the possibility to keep track of the temperature through the whole transportation, from the producer to your businesses, be it a restaurant or a store. And in the same case here, to prevent something when the temperature is being what it shouldn't. So basically this app, with your phone, with your smartphone functionality, and this thing, you can, for example, your meat, and then you have to keep it frozen at a certain temperature, and it broke down along the way. So what you can do, you can monitor your app. Your app will alarm you like, hey, something is happening with your meat. And this is an effect on the shelf life. But your app, due to a predictive microbiology program behind the app, can tell you, applicable to the small medium scale company, that your fresh produce will no longer say last five days, it will only last three days. In that way, you can plan better, and at the same time, you can reduce the waste that we incur 30% in the process. So, one out of three grocery bags becomes, ends up being waste. That's not good. And it could, it could probably be because you stop keeping tra track of your inventory inside the uh, refrigerator, or maybe you're just throwing away good products just because the expiration date has passed. Or maybe it's just the lack of knowledge that the product is still good. Well, the solution is this thing. You put it in the refrigerator and it keeps track of the temperature. Keeping track of the temperature will uh, give awareness to prevent food waste. Yeah, in the same way here, you thought of an app, in the same way to have a 
portable storage, but for this time for the consumer. So in this case, you keep track of your products, but and the temperature overview of your fridge, and it keeps track of the state the food is in, combined with knowing what temperature it has been under during the course it's been stored. Uh, together with this, we provide, we thought, provide with guides and guidelines for regular food safety and how to properly store your food. And in combination with this, notify the user when something is about to go bad. And together with the temperature logging, how to say, it, the thought is to give a predictive predicament on how the food will last longer, even to the best before date this has. And the good thing about this app is because if a product reaches the best before date, it doesn't mean that it's no longer good. It might mean like quality may deteriorate, but it is still safe. So the app can tell you like, hey, because you stored your product, let's say in a good temperature, your product can still last for these three days. So you, it will also give you some tips on how to check your product if it's, also, if it's still good or not. So that in a consumer way, you can still know if your product is good or not. But then there's also a bonus because this is portable. You can even put this in your food box. Or if you're a businessman and you're delivering this ice box or food box it like with fresh fish, like it's, it's a thing now, to your customer and you wanted to know that the temperature is not disconnected, then you have to put it there, you monitor it away from there, and you have a control of your supply chain process. So moving further, right now we have this chip and we can see already that this has a lot of functions like for personal, for the small scale, for the medium scale. But moving forward, what if we can make this chip thinner, smaller, and maybe edible? Yes, this is a, there's an edible chip with an RFID technology, and then with a multivariable thing. So with that, because temperature alone is not enough for the microbial shelf life. Like yes, it can predict, but there's a lot of factors contributing to shelf life. So we're thinking of the long term that this Dynama 2.0, fiercer, bolder, stronger, will be attached to your packaging. It can be to your fresh produce. It can be the smart refrigerator or smart reefer van. It can communicate and then have an automated temperature and then can predict the shelf life real time. So in that way, everything, the supply chain, will completely be innovative and will completely be disrupted and people will have a different way of thinking things. And you can see here, you can even produce this with your fresh produce because there's already a development on the edible RFID. So nothing is impossible with the Dynamite 2.0. Right now, it is suitable, it is very consumer friendly, it is affordable, small scale, medium scale, even countries beyond Sweden, India, Philippines, those who cannot afford the temperature loggers can have this Dynamite maintain their post-harvesting and in this way, we can preserve the food so that it will not go to waste. And I think the purpose of this product is more on, not on the app, but combination with that new technology that is accessible to everyone, and then the knowledge that this app and this thing will do in your supply chain process. So we are Dynamite.